welcome back to my channel, it's Gemma here. Today's video is going to be a bit of a homeware haul. This is something I've never done before and me and Thomas were thinking about moving house. However, we have decided to stay put and we've just went shopping and got a few bits and bobs for the house. You might have seen on my previous video, which I'll link below, that we had a bit of a shopping day and we went round all the sort of range, Matalan, went round all the homeware shops and we've picked up some stuff that I'm going to show you now. So if you would like to see what we've bought on our shopping day out, then keep watching. Right, so the first place that we went to on our shopping day was the range and I'm really looking for things like new curtains, bedspreads, I'm looking for lights, shades, canvases and sort of bits and bobs just really to sort of change the place up and just make it a bit more fresh. We're getting the painter in, he's hopefully coming next week to do the painting. Everything more or less is white. I'm not changing any of the wallpapers or anything like that because I still really love them and I think what's the point of changing them? Um, I've not seen anything else that I really like so that is staying. So um, it's really just getting the sort of white freshened up a bit. We've been in our house for nearly five years now. We bought a new build property and it doesn't really need that much work done to it. However, I would really like to convert my dressing room into a proper built-in sort of wardrobe. So walk-in wardrobe type thing with my dressing table and everything. Um, so that's also on the cards. Once everything is sorted, I'll probably do a bit of a walkthrough and just let you see what our house is actually like. But the first place, as I said, that we went to was the range and the first thing that I picked up was these sort of purple tartan um, curtains um, and these were 42 99 They are a 90 90 so they are for a long, they're a long drop and they're going to be for our French doors in our kitchen. Our kitchen has got a sort of purpley backdrop behind the cooker so um, everything is really having to go round about that. We already have a purple leaf print curtain um, up just now but I fancied a bit of a change and I thought that this tartan was really nice. If you can see that. I had originally seen ones in the next sale that I fell in love with. They were absolutely gorgeous but they didn't have them in the length that I needed and I really need the 90 drop for them. So that was the first thing that we got. The next thing that I got was these artificial flowers. Now I absolutely love flowers. Um, I always have fresh flowers in my kitchen beside my sink, but I do quite like getting some fake ones as well. So I picked up these and I just thought they were really nice. They come in a sort of glass jar and I'm going to be putting these in my haul. Now these were $12.99 and I just thought they were really pretty, lovely spring-like. They're sort of creamy yellow with obviously your greenery in them, some white flowers here as well. And I just thought in my hallway, they're going to look lovely and just make it a bit brighter there with obviously, fingers crossed, that the better weather is going to be coming in. For my bathroom, we have actually got a downstairs toilet, the big bathroom upstairs, and then we've got an ensuite. In our downstairs toilet, we've got a vase and we've basically had it there for about the last six months and there's no been no flowers in it. So I also picked up some more sort of fake flowers for that and I bought this, it was $10.99 and I thought the colours in the bathroom are this sort of duck egg blue colour and it's just got some nice roses, some greenery and some white flowers. These were... $10.99 which I thought for that bunch that was pretty reasonable and then I bought some extra greenery and some extra oh, roses to go in it and these were roughly about £1.50 to £2 each and that's really just to brighten up our bathroom. We did the bathroom about six months ago and just added a new canvas and some new towels and things. It's just plain white. So again, it's just to add a bit of a pop of colour and just to make it a bit brighter when you walk into it. For our bedroom upstairs, there's not a lot of things that I want to change, but I would like to get some new bedding, some new lamps, and um, potentially add another colour to it. It's just now, it's raspberry and grey. Now we have one of these gigantic um, headboards in our bedroom that's a sort of raspberry purple colour. Therefore, unless I want to change that and take it down, which would mean then I would have to repaper because there is massive 
what are they called raw plugs metal raw plugs in the wall because of it then i would need to redecorate more or less my full bedroom if i was going to get rid of that so what i was thinking about doing was just adding an extra color in and i really like the color navy however today i could not see anything that was navy that me or thomas liked so that might be getting chucked out the window and today <laughs> Trying to find lamps for a bedroom has been an absolute nightmare. Um, some of the ones that we've liked, we've only liked them, we've not loved them. And then ones that we have loved, there have been like 100 to 200 pounds for a lamp and we need two of them and I'm not paying that price. If there's anywhere that you can recommend that does reasonably priced lamps, then please let me know in the comments because both me and Thomas are going crazy trying to have a look for them. What I have found though is the lamp shades that we liked and they are grey. So we got two of these and these were 9 99 and I also got the matching ceiling light as well which I think was 12 99 or 15 99 sorry I can't remember um but I thought these were just nice nice and light our wallpaper in our bedroom is grey and it is grey stripes going across the way so it's dark and then a bit light so I thought the light against it would be quite nice the next place we then visited on our travels as you may have seen was Matalan now I've been on the Matalan website and seen so many things that I liked and the cushions that I liked were a sort of yellowy mustard tartan. Obviously we like our tartan. Um, but they didn't have any and they only had a sort of pink and grey colour which I absolutely loved but Thomas was having none of it. And he likes strong red colours and I'm not really a big lover of a strong red colour. So we got a compromise and went for, it's a sort of orangey ready pink -y tone it's also got some grey in it and beige we got two of these for the couch they're pretty big they are quite big um and they they're nice and soft they're really really comfy and these were 12.99 each so we got two of them for a couch we also got this one which was six pounds and just two smaller cushions to go with it so you can see that the both of them they go quite nice together with that color and i'll just double check yeah those were 12 pounds and these ones were six pounds and i got two of each so i'm looking forward to adding a bit of color into our living room because it is gray white and black just now and i do love our couch but it just needs a bit of a splash of color on there um, the only problem is, now that we've found the cushions that we like, I can't actually find a throw that's going to go with it. So again, if you've seen anything, any throws that'll go with this, then please comment below. Even put the link in the comment, which would be absolutely fantastic, so I can go on and have a look at them. When I was in Matalan as well, we actually picked up two duvet covers for our duvet sets for our bed. And this one is grey. And as you can see, it's a quilted material. And it's super soft. That's what it looks like on the bed. Now even though we've only got a double bed, I tend to put a king size um, duvet cover on it. Just so that we've got extra covers, extra cosiness. And I just thought this is then going to go if we add the... The raspies are already there but if we add the navy to it that's going to be. And I bought this one as well which is a bit different. It's sort of black and grey black and grey sort of white um and it's got it's got little pom-poms on it which i just first thought was super cute and even if we don't add the navy to it it'll still go with the grey and the raspberry and as you can see on the bed that looks lovely that was 22 pounds so that was everything that I bought from Matalan. I have also last week picked up some things from Asda for my bathroom and I thought why not add it in here and let you see as well what I got. So the first thing that I got was a new mirror for my bathroom. 
point that down there so you can't see my, my light and everything. Um, but it's obviously silver and then it's got a grey stem at the bottom. Um, and I just thought it was really nice. I've got a mirror just now in there. I've had it for years now. Um, so it's getting a bit worn looking and I just wanted something that was going to add a wee bit of jazziness to my bathroom and my bathroom just now it is just pure white it has what a sort of purple color we do have a bit of a purple theme going on in our house but i'm trying to get away from that as much as i can but and add other colors but it is really difficult because it is one of my favorite colors so i'm always attracted to it um, especially when i see new things so this was eight pounds from asda I also picked up these, they just hold little tea lights, they're silver and as you can see they're sort of ridged on there and these were £2 per tea light holder and I got two of them and I just thought that they would be nice for at the side of my bath or on my bath board, um, again just sort of add a little bit of accessory to it. I also picked up some of the tea light candles. I've always got these in the house, but I got some extra ones just because of these for the bathroom. And these are like two or three pounds and you get 50 scented candles. And I went for the, the wild jasmine, but to be honest, the reason that I went for them is just because they were white. I picked up another candle as well. And this one is also um, wild jasmine. It does smell really nice actually um, and you get approximate burn time 20 hours so that is going to give me plenty of time in the bath. There is three wicks in here. I just thought that would be really nice on my white bath board and it would be nice and smelly for when I'm relaxing in the bath. In my bathroom the theme as well is the kind of sort of grey and a bit of a lilac colour so I've got a new super soft bath mat. It's actually a lot bigger than the bath mat I've got just now and it is really thick. It was £8 um, and it's non-slip as well so if it was wet on your bathroom floor then you'd be you'd be okay in this. Um, but it is super soft. I actually wish they did a really really big one of these and then you could have it. That's the kind of rug that I want in my living room. Ones that you can, when you step your feet on them, your feet almost, your toes sink into it. That's what I'm looking for, a rug for my living room. But we've not seen any of them either. So yeah, they're nice and soft. Um, I picked up some towels. These were reduced. I'm sure they were reduced to £6. And this is the super soft bath towel. I'm the type of person that I've got towels over my bath that I don't use. And then I use a different towel. I don't know whether that's really bad or not, but I get it off my mum, and my mum does that, so I've been doing it as well. Um, so these are a sort of lilac-y, purpley colour, so not quite raspberry, so we are getting away from the, the raspberry colour, but it is still purple, but it's just a different tone, isn't it? And I got the matching hand towels as well to put on my, beside the, back, the, the sink. And these were two or three pounds each and they are really soft and they do actually feel quite good quality which I'm quite pleased about especially because they were obviously reduced and they were out of Asda so I got two of these. So that was everything that I bought from Asda. Looking at all this round about me that is everything I think. Yep, that is definitely everything that we have bought recently. Um, I will keep you up to date if anything else that I buy and if I get these lights, then I will let you see them. I'm also looking for a new canvas for up here and I'm also wanting a radiator cover for down here as well. Trying to find a canvas for here, can't find anything. It really needs to be a sort of a grey, white and purple yeah so basically the colours that were in the tartan curtains that is what I want for up here so again if you've seen anything or you can recommend anywhere that I can get canvases then please link it below and comment below and let me know because I am really struggling I never normally struggle with home things normally I walk into places all the time and be like oh I would really love that in my house or where could I put that because I really like it but not this time. We are struggling majorly. Um, there's loads of bits and pieces that we want to buy for the house and I will, as I said, I will keep you updated. Might even do another homeware haul. 
when I get the new stuff um, but I will keep you updated on what we're doing. Once everything is done and the painting and everything if we decide to get new carpets or anything like that then I'll maybe do a walkthrough or at least give you an updated sort of look of the room that we're doing. So as usual guys I hope you have enjoyed the video please give it a massive thumbs up and if you are new here then hello and welcome to the Lifestyle Hunter. Thank you so much for watching my video. As I said this is the first homeware haul video that I've ever done so I hope you have enjoyed it and yeah see you all soon.